Hello, my dear students of second preparatory stage for a new episode of our English language subject. اهلا بكم طلابنا الاعزاء في حلقه جديده من حلقاتنا النهارده اللي احنا دايما عارفين ان هي تحت رعايه واشراف وزاره التربيه والتعليم. حلقتنا النهارده للصف الثاني الاعدادي زي ما احنا عارفين ماده اللغه الانجليزيه وخلوني افكركم سريعا احنا عملنا ايه السيشن اللي فاتت وهنعمل ايه السيشن النهارده او في حلقتنا النهارده. Um, in the previous session uh, we introduced some of the previously explained uh, grammar lessons او قدمنا uh, بعض من uh, ال grammar lessons اللي احنا شرحناها في ال units اللي فاتت لان احنا اتفقنا ان ال previous session او الحلقه اللي فاتت دي وحلقتنا النهارده هتبقى review على كل اللي فات يعني زي revision كده او مراجعه على كل اللي فات اوكي فاحنا طبعا through this revision او خلال المراجعه دي we uh, remind ourselves of the grammar mistakes uh, uh, that we should avoid او ايه الاخطاء اللي هي في الجرامر اللي المفروض ان احنا ما نعملهاش uh, we revise the uh, tenses بنراجع الازمنه زي ال past simple ال past continuous present simple present continuous will usage of some adjectives in the comparative cases uh, uh, بنراجع uh, grammar lessons كتيره Uh, also, we uh, revise how to read articles. We revise also how to write reports or uh, paragraphs. كل ده رجعنا في الحلقات اللي فاتت ولسا هنكمل مراجعته النهاردة. Before everything, I want you to get ready with your copy books, books and pens to jot down أو عشان تكتبوا معايا أي حاجات ممكن تفيدكوا while studying أو وقت المذاكرة بعدين. Okay, so let's have now uh, a quick uh, a quick look at our objective and get ready with your materials. Let's go. So, my dear students, now again, the objective that we will finish revising all the previously uh, explained lessons in the previous units, units four, five, and six. So here. I prepared you extra uh, uh, questions أو حضرت لكم uh, أسئلة زيادة that um, focus on the common mistakes that you usually make uh, يعني بتركز على الأخطاء اللي أنتم ممكن تقعوا فيها because we have to focus on them and we have to know how to differentiate or how to answer فخلوني أحل معاكم extra uh, questions like in number one You shouldn't or don't have to eat too many sweets. They are bad for you. زي ما قلنا المرة اللي فاتت, the difference between should, have to, and must. And should the I uh, uh, use it for advice, for giving advice. For must, this is obligatory. أو حاجة إلزامية لازم إنك تعملها. Okay? Uh, أو يعني بستخدم must برضو علشان to remind myself of something I must do. Okay? For have to, it's more or less relate, related to the rules. يعني ليها علاقة بالرولز المكان أكتر. Okay? So, you shouldn't or don't have to eat many sweets. What can you uh, guess it's uh, uh, the correct word here? Yes, it's here. Shouldn't. Because I'm giving you advice. Okay? It's not related to the rules. ما لهاش علاقة برولز معينة. دي كأني بنصحك حاجة. Number two, you should or have to wash your hands before you eat. Is it advice or something, something related to rules? It's advice, definitely. That's why I added should or I chose should. In number three, I must or have to remember to buy my friend a birthday present. Here I remind myself. There is no rule to remind me of it. So is this here must or have to? What's the suitable one? Definitely it's must. For number four, you don't have to or you mustn't go to the gym, although it's a good idea. So here, you don't have to go or you mustn't go. Of course, it's you don't have to. لأن ده مش معناها إن أنت لو رحت أو مروحتش something will harm you أو حاجة هتأذيك أو هتضرك. No, but I, as if I'm saying in Arabic, لا يجب أن. Okay? يعني have to بتبقى Uh, um, weaker or not stronger like uh, must, مش, مش قوية زي must. Okay, so here you don't have to. You decide according to the situation. يعني إحنا برضو بنكرر أهمية الحاجة أو إلزام الحاجة حسب the situation أو حسب الموقف نفسه. هل هو يستدعي must ولا it's something related to rules أو حاجة أقل شوية من must. فأستخدم don't have to أو have to. And for number five, the train leaves at nine. Tomorrow, so you mustn't or don't have to be late. So here, what shall I choose? Mustn't or don't have to be late? 
اوكي هير اتس يو مسن بي ليت ما ينفعش لان انت لو اتاخرت ذا ترين ويل ليف اوكي سو يو مست كاتش ات ات 9 اور ايلس يو ويل نوت كاتش ات يعني ايه الهارم او ايه الاذى اللي هيقع عليا ان انا هفوت الرحله او هفوت القطر اوكي ذاتس واي اي تشوز مسنت اوكي سو as you see here mustn't here i added an apostrophe t instead of must not ده الابريفيشن او الاختصار زي ار ارنت اوكي and for number 6 you have to or should wear a uniform at that school it's a rule see here it's a rule واحنا اتفقنا any rule is related to which model verb انهي حاجه have to yes you have to خلوني بس افكركم بحاجه مهمه قوي if i have uh, a singular subject like uh, he she or it i uh, add has she has to uh, he has to it has to for example okay but if you have you i or any plural subject uh, i add have to negation or the negative form of that have to you don't have to but when i have she i say she doesn't have to okay So this is uh, related to have to and their negative forms. Okay. After this part, we have a part of the past continuous and the past simple. But I want to uh, uh, remind you of something first on the glass board. خلوني أفكر كل أول بحاجة على glass board هنشرحها. Then we can uh, finish answering the slide. Okay. So let's have now a quick look at it on the glass board. Okay. So now for uh, the difference between the past continuous and the past simple أو دلوقتي هفكركو بالفرق between أو ما بين الزمن الماضي البسيط والماضي المستمر Okay I just want to remind you of this before we uh, go into uh, deep details of our slides أو حبيت أن أنا أفكركو بدل أول قبل ما نحل بقية الاكسرسايز Okay So simply Here If I have something like while while so if i have while here and as i mentioned before while should be followed by aw lazim ba'dah yigi long action i want you to write down after me any note iktibu ma'aya ayi note ashan tafakkarku bil rule okay long action means i have to add was or where plus I and G uh, uh, that to be added to the verb. Okay, so this is for while. But what if I have something like when? When is always plus short action. Okay, short action, which means I have to put the verb in the past simple tense. يعني بحط الفا الفعل اللي عندي في الزمن الماضي. Okay, like I add ed. So now let me remind you of a sentence including both. If I say, while I was playing, comma, I fell. Okay, here. While I was playing here, I added was playing because that was the long action. That's why I added was or where plus ing. This is if I have while before it. Okay, if I have while, I should add the long action. It means was or where plus ing. Then again, if you have while I was doing anything at the beginning of a sentence, I should add, I shall add a comma. Okay, I shall add a comma. يعني الكوما دي لو أنا عندي البارت الأول في الجملة في while plus any subject plus was or where and I and G. If you have while in the middle, I don't add any commas. يعني لو كان العكس لو قلت I fell while I was playing, هنا مش بنحط commas in the middle. Okay? So, here, for the second action or for the short action, I added past simple tense, fell. Again, fill is the irregular form uh, of the verb fall, yaqa. 
But as I mentioned before, we have some verbs in the past simple tense that need to be totally changed. لازم تتغير كلها علشان تكون في past simple tense. Like go, went, like fall, fell, like lose, lost, like swim, swam. So we have a lot. Okay? وانا عشان كده قلت لكم كل مرة uh, uh, you get introduced to أو بتتعرفوا فيها على uh, verb جديد لازم تكتبوه in your notebook. Okay? It helps you in studying later on. فده كان just a quick look at the difference between while and when. Um, the key words also that are equal to while are as and just as. Okay? As and just as. يعني أنا لو لقيت while أو as أو just as this Uh, 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 this is to be followed by long action. يعني لازم بعدها يجي long action, which means was or where plus ing. Okay, when shall I add was and when shall I add where? Again, was is to be added with I, uh, uh, he, uh, she, it, or any singular subject like Mona, like Ahmed. Okay, was plus ing. I add where when I have you, we, they, or Ahmed and Muhammad, Mona and Salma. Okay, in this case, I add where plus ing. So that was just a recap on the difference between while and when. طبعاً ده uh, it refers to the past continuous tense. أو ده mainly بيشاور على زمن المو الماضي المستمر. Okay, it, uh, it always refers to something I was doing for a long time. ده الفرق ما بين ال past continuous and the past simple. Okay, I hope you can get it uh, easily and clearly. So let's have now the other uh, slides and the extra questions I prepared for you. Let's go. So, now let's focus on uh, uh, the coming exercise. I will focus on the exercise to apply what we have just uh, interest, uh, understood in the difference between past continuous and past simple. Now, we have here some uh, verbs, drop, have, look, put, study, and visit. Some of them are to be added in the gaps. يعني هنكمل بيهم spaces أو الحاجات اللي نقصد دي. And we have to put every verb, whether in the past continuous or the past simple. طيب, how can I differentiate أو هفرق إزاي? According to the keywords, لو عندي while, so it should be followed by past continuous, was or where plus ing. If I have when, it should be followed by past simple, ed or the irregular form of the verb. So here I have while Mona. Here I have a keyword, while Mona was watching television. So I already mentioned the long action. يعني أنا already قلت ال ال أو اتكلمت عن الفعل الأطول. So here. comes the turn uh, for the short action. And again, when I add a short action, I add it in the past simple tense. So let me just choose what's the suitable verb. Yes, she had an idea. And had here is the irregular form of the verb have. Okay? Number two. While the students space at the ruins, خلوني أفكركم ruins دي ال broken pieces of a building or something like that. يعني حطام حاجة كت مهدودة مثلاً. It started to rain. So started here refers to long action or short action. Definitely, it refers to the short action. So this means I have to focus now here on the long action. This means I have to add. was or where plus ing because I have students plural gamma so I have to add where where plus look which is looking number three I space my phone while see here when while comes in the middle no commas are to be added لما بحط while in the middle مش بحط اي commas معها خالص only if it comes at the beginning زي كده okay but here I space my phone while I was texting I already mentioned here the long action. So what is it uh, missing? Awdina uh, isa'i, il short action. Il huwa past simple tense. And the suitable verb is drop. Drop yani wa'a haiga. Drop has P here. And it's preceded by aw ablaha vowel. Which means I have to double the P aw the, uh, the last letter. That's why I added dropped. Okay? Number four. While Basil space... At his computer, an important email arrived. 
So here, what's the action do I have? Uh, the action I have, the action I have here is already past simple, which refers to short action. So here I have while, I shall add was or where plus the verb, ing form of it. Was studying, while Basil was studying, something happened. And for number five, the class learned a lot, learned. So this means I finished the short action and I now I'm focusing on the long action. While they, plural subject, space the museum. Of course, R plus ing of visit, uh, sorry, where plus ing, it's where visiting. And number six, how does grandparents arrived while she space her clothes away? لما كانت بتشيل هدومها بعيد شوية أو بتشيلها يعني بتروقها. So she was putting again here. See put here is one with one T. But I doubled the letter T because it's preceded by U. The vowel U أو الحرف المتحرك U. Okay. Here. Complete the sentences with the correct form of the adjective in brackets. Okay. I have here noisy, big, good, wet, far and dirty. As I mentioned in the previous session, how to use the comparative cases of the adjectives, of the short adjectives, of the long adjectives. When do we use the adjectives between as and as? Okay, so let's uh, remind ourselves of it. The city is always space noisy than the countryside. Countryside is the reef, the city is the so I shall add here er to the adjective because I have then. Then dik a naki word aw alamalaya araf in an alazima hot er mal adjective. If it's of course short adjective. But if I have a longer adjective, I add more. Okay? So this is short or long adjective? Of course it's a short one. But if the adjective is ended in y, I change it into I E R. Not ER only, okay? When I put it in the comparative form. So it's going to be like the following. Noisier, okay? The second one, Alexandria is big than Halloween. So here, I have than. It means I have to add ER. But again, if I have the last letter preceded by or a bleed vowel, I have to double the last letter. It's going to be bigger with double G. Playing sport is... Space good for you than playing computer games. You can read two or three uh, words, then you can find then. Till the last or the end uh, of the sentence. So here, good, as I remind you before, okay, or as we dealt before, in the good or bad, have irregular forms of the adjectives in the comparative cases. Good, but if a better than, or bad, but if a worse than. So here, I shall add better than. Is December as, شهر December, as a space wet as January. So here, wet, again, the T here is preceded by E, the vowel E, which means, okay, but do I have to add ER here or not? Definitely not. You know why? Because I have as and the as. Okay, so in this case, I add just wet, not wetter, okay? Because when I have as and as, I should put between them only the adjective without adding anything to it, okay? As expensive as, as wet as, as small as, as comfortable as, okay? New Zealand uh, is space, it's uh, uh, a country, the ballad. Uh, uh, far from Egypt than Kenya. Here, I have than, which means I have a comparative case, which means I have to add er to the adjective. Okay, so here, New Zealand is space far, so I say further. And as I mentioned in the last session, it can be farther with a or further with you. Both are correct. Okay. The air in cities is usually a lot space dirty than the air in the countryside. يعني الهواء بيبقى ملوث أكتر طبعا في المدن أكتر من الأرياف. Okay, so my adjective here is dirty and it's ended in y. أخيرها y زي noisy. So what shall I add before adding er? Definitely I shall add i. I shall change y 
into I. Then I add my ER, which refers to the comparative case. So it's going to be like the following, dirtier, okay? So here, choose the correct answer from A, B, C, or D. Let's remind ourselves of the vocab words of the previous units. هنفتكر دلوقتي some of the vocab words أو بعض الكلمات اللي إحنا اتعرفنا عليها في units four, five, and six. Here I have number one, space work in the street. They sell food. So, um, am I talking about call center workers, الناس اللي بتشتغل في خدمة العملاء, ولا engineers, المهندسين, ولا nurses, الممرضين, ولا street food sellers, الناس اللي بيبيعوا الأكل في الشارع. So, what is the best choice here? Of course, because I have food and street, so the answer is letter D. And for number two, many people in the city live in a space of flats. Flats mean apartments or uh, um, it means uh, okay? So I have the choices here, black, chest, block, or house. My answer is block. Block means Omara. It has a lot of flats. Number three, the mountain, il Gabal, was very high. And we all felt space at the top because we thought we might fall. So what's the best choice here? Scary, scared, happy, or tall. Okay, if we have here focus, a focus on scary and scared, which is the suitable one? We all felt we were scared or scary. It's scared. You know why we didn't choose uh, a scary? Because the adjectives that are ended in ed are to be uh, uh, describing people. يعني أنا بقول على نفسي I am interested in, I am scared, I am tired, uh, uh, I am excited. Okay, I add ed with the adjective when I am talking about a person or about myself. إنما لما أوصف الحاجة with scary or exciting or interesting لما بحط ing or uh, not any أي حاجة غير ال ed with a thing ده معناه إن الحاجة دي scary مخيفة أو interesting شيقة يعني when I say the match is interesting ما أقولش the match is interested okay لما بوصف شيء بقول ing معاه لما بوصف نفسي بقول ed okay so here Karim's cousin is space and never puts his books away. So what's the suitable choice? Messy, يعني فوضوي, ولا serious, يعني جد, ولا cruel, يعني قاسي القلب, ولا tidy, يعني حاجة متروقة أو مرتبة. طبعاً messy, يعني فوضوي. Number five. Iyad works as a space for a charity, منظمة خيرية, أو جمعية خيرية, that helps to clean the local beach. Okay, here. Is he working as a patient, marid, ولا model, ولا figure, ولا volunteer? So here, a volunteer, let me remind uh, you of it, the متطوع. طبعا عشان عندي charity أو جمعية خيرية, I always talk about volunteers أو المتطوعين. Number six, where did your grandparents lived, live, are living or living? Okay, here, because I have did, and whenever you have a question and you have do, does or did, we should add the verb in the infinitive form because it's a question. That's why I will choose letter C. Okay. So here, complete the sentences with the correct form of the verbs between brackets. The Egyptian handball team win the competition last year. Let me remind you of the keywords of the tenses. لما بيكون عندنا last أو yesterday أو ago, this refers to which tense? Yes. Past. Okay, here. How do I put win in the past? I say it one with O. One. Okay, it's irregular. Number two. Karim, take a photo of the museum at the moment. At the moment refers to what tense? Can you remember? Yes. Present continuous tense. Now, at the moment, at the present, nowadays. دي كلها المضارع المستمر which means I have to add are or is or am plus ing is taking because he is singular number three cotton clothes sell all over the world ده بقى تنس احنا شرحناه المرة اللي فاتت لو تفتكروا I said about it 
its active and passive form يعني مبني للمعلوم and we أو مبني للمجهول okay uh, هنا الرول بتاعتي let me remind you of it I have to add are or is or am plus pp تصريف التالت of the verb the past participle okay so cotton clothes is are or am plus pp of sell sold هتبقى طبعا are sold all over the world يعني مباعة all over the world في جميع أنحاء العالم منى have space to wear the uniform at school so of course I can't say منى have I say منى has yes منى has to wear the school uniform so that, that was the end of our session of today and uh, as I told you I prepared for you extra uh, uh, questions for the mistakes that you may make any uh, time وعرفنا الفرق uh, عشان to avoid such mistakes يعني عشان uh, نتجنب الأخطاء دي فعرفنا ازاي أو الفرق ما بين the tenses and how to differentiate أو ازاي نفرق بال keywords طبعا وبال uh, rules اللي احنا حافظينها أو عارفينها لكل tense okay so that was uh, like a recap on uh, the lessons we introduced in unit 4 uh, units 4, 5 and 6 okay so next time I'll be uh, waiting for you with more uh, um, uh, videos and more uh, questions. Okay, هنعمل مع بعض questions أكتر المرة الجاية عشان برضو to revise more on the previously explained lessons. Thank you so much for watching my episode and waiting for you for the next time. Stay safe and goodbye.